Yo, what's up, YouTube? Happy Saturday, folks. Hope you're enjoying the weekend. Um, real quick, big shout out to Mr. Mom Tanks and J Flush Tanks for the auction last night. Really, really fun. I was kind of impressed. I didn't expect that many people to be there, but there were quite a few planted hobbyists checking it out, bidding, and um, yeah, it was fun. I didn't actually get to attend the first one, so last night was the first one I got to go to. Unfortunately, I didn't get anything because some of y'all were throwing down some big money, all y'all big wallet spenders out there, but um, no, no biggie. It was fun. I had fun. Um, so yeah, good job, Mr. Mom Tanks, J Flush Tanks. Um, but anyways, showing you the uh, Aquion 8-gallon Evolve tank right now as you see my beta attempt to catch my White Cloud. <laughs> he always tries, but he never gets him. Um, but yeah, this is a really awesome little tank for Planet Nanos. It really, it really, I think, uh, works out well. It's got the overflow back there, so no surface scum. And um, like I've said before, I like overflows because it keeps the water level in the tank constant. And whenever water level is getting low, it gets low back here. So you just have to top off that part, and the display looks the same. So I always thought that's cool. Gives you good water flow at the surface, but it's not too turbulent down at the bottom where the plants are. Um, lighting is still the two 13-watt power compacts. And um, these lights are awesome. I, I really, really like these lights. I've been using them for a couple months now. And as you can see from the top of the tank, I've got them centered. And they really, really power the light down into the tank. The whole um, footprint is covered in light. And the plants just really do well. I've probably, I don't know, trimmed this Ludwig three or four times now. And it always bounces back so fast. Um, and actually, it doesn't really grow up anymore. It grows out towards the front of the tank just to get as much light all over the leaves. You can see how thick it is at the top. So, Unfortunately, one side effect of that is um, it does tend to shade this Crypt Parva down here at the bottom. So this really never took off like I wanted it to. Um, somebody mentioned to me that it actually carpets much faster if you have like CO2, which I don't run CO2 on any of my tanks. So that could be a limiting factor in the growth. And um, I don't know. Um, it, it's, it's doing all right. I mean, it's just growing really, really slowly. So, I guess I'm used to the Crip Wenty, which, you know, grows really fast, and this grows much lower. But, um, yeah, I see my lonely White Cloud in there. He's been in pretty much all my tanks since I've had him. Still all by himself, no other White Clouds, but I might get a few more. There's a little Oto chilling. He's there for algae. I got one of these cool snails back here. I like snails. He takes care of algae. My beta's back there chilling. And, um, yeah, that's that. This is a really easy tank to run. Um, I don't actually even really do water changes anymore. Um, because my bio load is so low, there's just like three or four fish in here, and the plant mass is so high, whatever nitrate that does build up pretty much gets used immediately by the plants. So all my levels stay really good, and all you really have to do is top it off. So I usually only do a water change like once a month on this tank. But, um... The plan is, once the 20-gallon the gets broken down, the, uh, the German Blue Ram is going to get put in this tank, and the Beta is going to get taken out um, and put somewhere else. So it'll just be the Ram, a uh, few White Clouds, and a few Otos for algae, and that'll be that for this tank. So just wanted to show you guys the progress on this. I haven't shown it in about a month or so. And, um, yeah, that's that. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and um, I'll catch you all later. Peace.